Here we are again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Melissa, Evidential Medium and Master Instructor with Integrated Energy Therapy. I am here really excited because I pre-ordered, and I rarely do this, but I pre-ordered uh, the Christ Consciousness deck by Amanda Ellis. And then um, as it got closer to release, she was saying how like it was sold out. They were going to have, you know, another printing until like October. And I was like, oh, I've got one coming and then it showed up and I was like, yay. So I'm very excited to be able to share this with you today because <clears throat> so a little background about me and Christ um, as a Catholic devout Catholic girl uh, growing up, like Jesus Christ was my savior, right? Was my deity. Um, and I revered him as that. And then as I started this spiritual journey, I was going into meditation and he was showing up in meditation and I was like, oh, like, who am I for Christ or Jesus or Jesus Christ to be showing up in my meditation? But honestly, he's in a beautiful ascended master and he's a teacher and he was showing up to me because if you've been with me, you know, teaching is my background. I literally taught uh, high school and middle school for seven years. Um, I also taught summer school. I taught um, youth that were um, alternative is what they called it, but they were, you know, difficult. But it was rewarding and I loved every minute of it. But this is my calling to be here uh, teaching this, to be teaching this. Um, and so this is a nice, uh, what I like about this deck, I'm going to be honest right off the bat, like this is not a um, small deck. This is a 55 card deck. I like the decks that are more than, um, you know, 44 is okay, but I really like it a hearty deck, right? I, I like being able to have lots of options. So, <clears throat> so this is the Christ Consciousness deck. Now she's done a beautiful job of really writing a whole page for each card. I'm not going to read all of that um, today because we would need hours, not just possibly one. Um, so I'm going to pretty much try to find the most appropriate part. Um, and actually, um, I started already, like, I don't know if you've noticed, but like on this page here for this card, like I actually underlined that. So yes, so we will, I will be sharing with you, I think the, the, the what's pertinent or what I feel is pertinent for you. Um, as I pull these cards and look at the book, I am going to take time to look at the book because that's what we want to do, right? We want to dig into what this deck is all about. And then as I use it down the road and how I have been using it on um, the past week, um, more intuitively, but, um, she did a nice job. Each of the, the cards do have like a title and then they have like a little, um, a little explanation. So, um, I can't get that one to focus, but we're gonna, let's see if we can get it. There it is. So this one is tethered and caged and the little blurb is break free. The number is 36. And then of course the artwork is beautiful. So that's what we're doing this morning. I've got to run over here and grab a tissue. I'll be right back. Hold that thought. I'm not going far. Just going to jump over here as my nose is like literally running off my face because I was outside this morning. And of course, I have forgotten to stop and take allergy medicine or even my vitamins this morning. I'll be doing that right after. So welcome, everyone. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Look at everyone showing up. Good morning, everyone. Hey, Mary Beth. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Delia. Good morning, Chrissy. Look at everyone. Oh, I love it. Hey, Darlene. Darlene, I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow. So I'm having an in-person session tomorrow. Very excited. Um, so virtual and in-person readings or healing, it all works. But I am looking forward to spending time with you and your girls. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Looking forward to that. All right. So let's get started. Let's get this party started. All right. So we're going to start with Mary Beth. How are you? How are you? Da, 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 da. Yeah. All right. All right, Mary Beth. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> if you 
you want to work with me in person and you're like, well, Melissa, I book with you and it, you know, comes up with a Zoom meeting. Yes, it, the default is Zoom meeting. Um, the default is virtual. However, if you want an in-person session, all you have to do is there is a little comment box in the checkout window um, and just put in person in there. And then um, I will expect you in person. Usually at that point, I send you an email kind of with the, the details, you know, where I am, where to park how that all works. Um, but yeah, you can work with me in person. Uh, readings, um, IET, whatever. Um, I actually have been meaning to give you a little tour of the rest of this room because this is kind of like the space. So um, actually right on the other side of this monitor is um, where I do the IET sessions. And then over off to the side of me over here, um, is actually where I do readings. So um, this is the room. This is the room where all the spirit happens. Um, so, all right, Mary Beth, I'm really, I am thinking of you. <laughs> I'm just excited. I need to like calm down. Calm down. Oh, there it is. Calm down the jets. Calm down the jets. All right, 40. I actually pulled this one the other day. This is a beautiful card. Look at this, Mary Beth. Living from the heart. Soft, soften and open. Living from the heart, therefore, is about trust and being able to see the highest potential, the path through which God can work even in the most unseen or unlikely places. In our own lives, it is too easy to self-sabotage, have doubts, be unclear, or focus on unwinnable odds. Yet if we soften our hearts and open to see and hear God, we hold the key that makes anything possible. To live from the heart necessitates us being vulnerable sometimes. We will also come up against those who are closed and intransigent. Never seen that word before. And may well be triggered by our goodness. Since shining a light can make others very aware of our own lack of brilliance, staying humble and non judgmental and holding compassion while the messy part of evolving takes place for us and others is key. The lotus grows and must push through mud to show its beauty, becoming one of the most stunning flowers. And as such, we too can burst out of our difficulties, limited mindsets, and ego and arrive at the heart's portal to birth new worlds today. So there it is. Look at that. Living from the open heart. And being vulnerable is very scary sometimes, especially if you're someone that is healing from trauma, from um, coming out of a survival mode kind of situation. So yeah, being vulnerable is not going to be your comfortable place. So I would absolutely invoke um, your team of guides, angels, ascended masters, whatever spiritual support, and then also whatever physical support, right? But yeah, Mary Beth, that's a beautiful card for you. I love that. You are the Lotus. Thank you for being here this morning. Good morning. All right, Miss Jackie. Hi, Glenda. Oh, hi, Delia. Yes. Hi, Kara. Oh, thank you. She said, it's a beautiful space. Thank you, Kara. <laughs> right. Another one of my in-person sessions. Oh, my eyes are itching. You can tell I was outside in the, in the nature today. Actually, I did my reel from the nature. So if you see the reel, you'll see I was outside this morning. I needed a little um, grounding before I sat down for another hour, hour and a half. Um, as I did uh, daily guidance and then now this after last night kind of sitting here for an hour. So I needed to get outside and soak up some Mother Gaia and some Father Son. All right, Jackie. <laughs> Good morning again. Yes. Hello. Joseph. Fathering and Responsibility, card number four. Let's see what this is about for you, Jackie. Look at that. You are asked to reflect on the roles in your life, the sole contracts you have with particular people that may be conscious that you may be conscious of or not. This can include family members, business partners, friends, and clients. <clears throat> Indeed, our soul mission contracts can feel like an uphill climb, a mountain that seems insurmountable. If so, call on Joseph for help. 
He offers a practical guide and spiritual support. You may be nudged toward a course, a person with the right skills to assist with, for example, child care, house maintenance, or any aspect of daily life. Joseph offers solutions and logic with hands-on approach to look at details, time scales, and resources, reminding you not to panic, but to break tasks down into manageable chunks, taking time to methodically go through life with care, presence, and a steady footing. In a digital age, he asks you to notice the trees, their branches reaching up to the sky and their roots going down into the ground, to bear witness to nature, the changing seasons, and the animal kingdom too. The illustrated purple heart strike butterfly is found in oak trees, and a whole colony can be supported by just one tree. There are seldom seen they are seldom seen, but spend their time in the lofty heights of the tallest branches, their symbolism being to soar but remain grounded, surrounded by kin and tribe. Oh, Jackie, that's beautiful for you. That's beautiful for you. I kind of felt like um we're on the right road. <laughs> So thank you for being here this morning, honey. Hi, Ariana. Oh, no worries. I drink lots of tea. Actually, that's actually what this is. This isn't water. This is unsweet tea. <laughs> Bold. You're welcome, Mary Beth. So yes, good morning. I'm glad you're here. All right. So let's see what we got from Miss Tammy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So thank you for the beautiful hearts on Facebook and thank you for the liking and subscribing on YouTube. I truly appreciate the fair exchange. Thank you. And if you're watching on the replay, please hashtag replay, join your energy to the group. And of course, of course, of course, um, as you're watching these, and if something really uh, hits you in the feels, that message is also for you. All right. So let's see what we got from Miss Tammy. Oh, Night's Vigil, Prepare and Get Ready, number 47. There you go, Tammy. There's the artwork. The key component to this card's message is to create time and space to prepare and align to God for the next stage to come. This doesn't mean it is time of foreboding, simply that you are asked to give your best, be present, and be aware of your conduct and the impact you can make. You are encouraged to stand firm and be true to who you are, sovereign and free, not swayed by changing trends and fashions. You may be misunderstood and feel alone, yet draw to you a band of like-minded brothers and sisters, such as King Arthur did with his 12 Knights of the Round Table, and Christ did with his 12 Apostles. Belonging to something, sharing a common belief, and remaining steadfast to a vision is important. New friendships and alliances may soon arise, as well as parting of the ways with those not willing to walk with you any further. Change is here, and focus, determination, and a willingness to serve is highlighted. You will be guided by God and your higher self, and it is often said that when the student is ready, the teacher appears, and this is such a time. Learning new skills and expanding your knowledge. Oh, honey, I love that for you. Let go of any part of you that feels incapable, unworthy, or not up to the task. Everyone has flaws, yet the path of the night is toward self-development, knowing from failure that strength and wisdom come, just as much as via victory and fortitude. Sink into quiet vigil, meditation, and prayer, and gather your thoughts, collecting back scattered parts of yourself and becoming whole and centered. Oh, that's beautiful. Your life and how you can conduct it matters, and you are deeply appreciated and loved. Be at peace with all that is to come. You will conquer all that is ahead. Oh, honey, there it is. I love it. Moving forward. Moving forward. Never forgetting, but moving forward. All right? I love that. Thank you for being here this morning. Whew, these cards are, like, powerful. Whew, whew, whew. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. All right. That had me in the feels, guys. That had me in the feels. Good morning, Cynthia. Welcome, honey. Good morning. Hope you're doing well today. Happy hump day, everyone. It is Wednesday. All right, Cynthia, let's see what we've got for you. This is 
an interesting card. So it is, I'm going to butcher it, but we're going to go for it. So it's get, get, get some main, get some main darkest hour strength arrives. There are times in life, and this may be one of them, when we, what we are faced with and must endure can be very hard to bear. We may think we don't have the strength or ability to do what is being asked of us and what we wish for whatever troubles us is to be taken away. The problem removed, the obstacle eradicated to go back to a more carefree time. And yet from a soul perspective, everything that we encounter in life is there to serve us, including the darkest periods. Another important aspect of this card's teaching is that like Jesus, we will be given whatever it is we need now to proceed. Spiritual support is available and you are not abandoned and alone. The gospel tells how any angel appeared before Jesus at Gethsemane as he prayed, encouraging him on and helping him recommit to his mission. This reminds you to ask for help and that support will come, but is answered fastest via a surrendered state. You too may feel an angelic presence around you as you re regroup pray and pause at this time. The cup, our predicament, shining brightly, has a faded energy to it. Like Jesus, we may ask for it to be taken away from us, but it will command our attention till we drink from it and tackle it. The ivy growing around reflects the issue may have been present for a while, but that facing it will lead to greater spiritual maturity and strength. Do not fear it. Walk toward it with faith. Oh, honey, that's beautiful for you. Yeah, you're not alone. You're not alone. Thank you for being here this morning. Oh, these are good. These are very good. Oh, thank you, Mary Beth. I will. She said, check out the song. I can. I can't say it. I'll come back, Jen. Uh, check out the song Gethsemane, Gethsemane from Jesus Christ Superstar. Awesome. Thank you. Good morning, Suzanne. Welcome. All right. Going back. Going back. There we go. Miss Taylor. All right. Here we go. how these cards are all like very different so they're totally tuning into you honey you got non-judgment reflection and projection number 16 we can blame criticize or attack one another for something we have done or via an alternate life path might have done we also project onto others what we do not wish to acknowledge within ourselves whatever is highlighted jesus never demonstrated condemning another he always offered the olive branch an opportunity for healing. In his own words, those without wrongdoing cast the first stone. For he knew it was not for us to judge and that hate leads to more hate, war leads to more war, and judgment leads to more division. Reflect on what you judge. It may be behaviors in others. It does not have to be some big terrible deed. It could be intolerance, greed, egotism, selfishness, laziness, narrow-mindedness, or any other human trait. What we dislike in another is often what is reflected in some degree within us. Once identified, do not judge yourself. Instead, look at why the aspect is there. Where are the roots? And importantly, are you ready to let them go? Seeing your human frailties and loving them back to harmony via softness and compassion is suggested. No battles of war, but the gentle embrace of non-judgment and love is far more fruitful now. So there it is, Jen. Doing a little reflection, honey. It might be very beneficial, right? Growing up, my mother always said to me, you have, you're too prideful. You have too much pride. And I didn't know what she meant. It took me a long time to kind of figure it out, but I did have too much pride. Whew. Um, sometimes when we take a hard look at ourselves um, and we kind of come up with uh, what is kind of being shown to us, it can be very disconcerting. Um, but it will make you better. It will ultimately make you better, honey. 
So don't be afraid to be honest with yourself. You don't have to share it with anybody else, but being honest with yourself is important. So thank you for being here this morning. Good morning, Delia. Good morning. Delia, Ooh. number 12, temptation, moral compass. In our daily lives, we are bombarded by gossip, hearsay, and information that can often be driven by ego, agenda, and bias, not wisdom and discernment. Our job, therefore, is to filter out what is misguided, unkind, or untrue and not be the receptacle that allows it to grow. What we say matters. Our tongue should not be forked, but infused with love. Take a moment to think about what is in the tip of your tongue. Is it what you wish to say helpful and true or spiteful and poisoned? If you face a difficult conversation, ask to speak with clarity, kindness, truth, and love. Since even when it is difficult, if we speak from a place of love, it will be received as such. Yes, drop down into your heart and speak from that place. Absolutely. Aligning to Christ consciousness daily helps us hone our senses to act accordingly and to be a living example of how to live in thought, word, and deed, inspiring others as we do so. Picking this card may also imply secrets and hidden motives are at play. Someone may be hiding their true character or testing you. If so, See this as a teaching moment to shine light on what is hidden, to help, not hinder, to forgive, not condemn. Others may be tempted in relation to earthly goods such as money, possessions, and prayer, but you can choose differently, knowing that the most lasting legacy is how we conduct ourselves through trials and tribulations. Hold your head high. You hold the power to triumph over anything that seeks to diminish your beauty and light. Oh, Delia, I'd love that for you. I hope that resonated. Thank you for being here. All right. So Lucille, welcome. Thank you for being here this morning. Let's see what, what we're going to pull for Lucille. Ooh, stand up. Steadfast in vision, number 31. Oh, and I turned right to it. That's synchronicity. So there it is, Lucille. You are here to help make a difference, to be an advocate for light, and to not be afraid, knowing you are protected and held as you endeavor to make a positive difference. This card is also a nod to unity and coming together around a centralized point, be that peace, remembrance, freedom, or something else. Solidarity, steadfastness, and being together as one holds the promise Jesus taught of where two or more are gathered in my name, miracles can happen. Being around positive, motivated, uplifting people will also be beneficial at this time, not those seeking to derail or thwart your path in light via words, thoughts, or deeds. It may be advisable to review the company that you keep, but if needing to be around those, for example, with draining energy, ensure you are spiritually shielded. You may be able to inspire them, but remember that we can't force or change anyone against their will. Just demonstrate loving action and change, which off others can follow or not via their free will. So there it is, honey. There it is. Thank you for being here. Welcome. All right. Hello, Miss Chrissy. Good morning. Good morning. See what we've got for you this morning. I hope you're doing well on a Wednesday. Um, Chrissy, I actually pulled this Lionheart Stand Firm. Um, I'm gonna let that go um, because you also got another card that came out, um, which is the teacher walk the talk. So take the Stand Firm card. And um, I did pull that on a daily card the other day. So if you want to hear more about that, you can um, check that video out. But let's let's dig into this one. Oh, teacher, walk the talk. When we need help, Jesus will step 
forward to guide us, and he will never reprimand you. Rather, he sees you as a child of God who is still learning, and no one reprimands a child when they fall. They help pick them up and set them back on the right course. Realize also that having walked this earth himself, he understands what it is to be human, the unique challenges that exist here from temptation to cruelty, injustice, inequality, and more. When he witnessed suffering, he went to help. When he knew trouble was unavoidable, he walked into the arena just as his followers did centuries later. He knew that God would never abandon him, and likewise, he will never abandon you. He will all, we are all truly blessed to have his assistance. Jesus, now is spirit among us, guides you still, highlighting a path where your own Christ consciousness can shine, and you too can become a teacher for others. We all are life's teachers. For example, we set is copied by, for example, our children for good and bad in terms of habits, patterns, and more. As Jesus said, it is by your acts you are known, and by loving one another you will be recognized as one of his disciples, meaning a student or follower. As such, we need to monitor our behavior in all areas of life. What we say anonymously or not online to someone we may not know is just as important as face-to-face -face conversation with one we do. We should be consistent knowing there is no area of life to which the principles of Christ do not apply. And in the hardest subjects, we still need to be able to walk the talk and demonstrate our heart-centered consciousness in action. We are encouraged to become like children again, full of wonder, wanting to learn and acquire new understanding. The, mal the small child who asks why is inquisitive and keen to know. Embrace being life student as well as its teacher. We learn from each other and via that our consciousness continues to grow. So there it is, honey. There it is. So I hope that resonated. Thank you for being here. For some of you, you may actually want to like come back and listen to these. Um, sometimes when um, you hear something for the first time, you may only pick up a part of it. But if you come back, you may hear more. So something to think about. Good morning, Darlene. Let's see what I've got for you. Oh, you got the Stand Up Steadfast Vision number 31. Um, and since I've already read that one, Darlene, I'm going to kind of leave that there for you. All right. So, um, yeah, be steadfast in your vision. Stand up for what you believe in. I feel like you're ready. You're ready to stand up. You're ready. So I love that for you. Hi, Brittany. Hello. Just looking at some of these comments. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. She's helping me out with the uh, Gethsemite. Gethsemite. Thank you. I think I got it. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, 77 Cruise. I feel like it's been a minute. Hello, hello. Oh, awesome, Delia. She said, yes, it does. Thank you. Oh, so, okay. So now she's changing it. All right. So she's saying, correcting my above, above statement, Gethsemane. Okay. Gethsemane is the correct pronunciation. A garden between Jerusalem and the Mount of Olives. Uh, oh, she's welcome, Delia. She's welcome. Good morning, Kim. All right. So Beth, it, Brittany, Brittany K. Welcome. Welcome. I feel like maybe you've been here before, but it's been a minute. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but welcome. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Welcome. All right, let's see what we've got for Brittany. Oh, Brittany. Ooh, 20. The Ankh, the key of life. Let's take a look at this one, Brittany, for you. You see life as the precious gift that it is, just one page in a huge book that makes up your journey through many incarnations. You are reminded not to get stuck on one page or a particular period or problem, as with nature, seasons will change. You can let go just as the tree sheds its leaves, but you will also rebirth anew with fresh blossom and new sap. 
The Ankh also comes to you as a symbol of balance for your masculine and feminine energy in your earthly physical life and your connection to higher realms. To stretch out your arms to life is the Ankh stretches out, embracing all it can taste, see, and touch, and having deep roots that ground with an open expansiveness to all that there is. The Ankh also offers protection in keeping you safe, knowing that nothing can damage a divine soul. All parts of you are intact and whole, all held in golden light and always reflecting the best of who and what you are, which is a shining light here to brighten this world and beyond. And as I was reading that, um, Brittany, you want, the other card that came up for you, honey, was also this um, number 31 stand up steadfast vision. So whatever you took from that reading, and if you didn't really pay attention to it, go back and listen to it on the replay. But I do feel like these two cards coming to you today, honey, is really helping you to stand in your own presence to know that you're protected and going in the direction that you need to go in for you with the people that you need to go in that direction with. I feel like it's time to not hold yourself back or let anybody dictate your choices and decisions. Okay. So I hope that resonated. Thank you for being here today. Hey, Miss Kara. Hey, Miss Kara. Hi, Trishna. Oh, Darlene, I pulled yours. You'll have to watch it on the replay, honey, if you missed it. Uh, Trishna, I'm actually doing um, the Christ Consciousness deck. So I will pull a card for you, but it may or may not answer completely your question. But I will, if I get to you, um, pull a card for you. But these are, um, yeah, general messages. Take what resonates. But um, I don't know. I think they've been pretty spot on so far. I could be wrong, but uh, knowing all of you to some degree, um, yeah, they feel pretty, they feel pretty, pretty good. They do. They do. They do. They do. All right, Kara, you also just got that one come out. So let's, I'm going to pull one more, honey, and see what else wants to come out to so take whatever resonated there for you. All right, and the other one that came out is this number three, Wisdom Bringer Earth School. So let's see what this has to say for you, Kara. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? A human struggling with limited understanding or a wise old soul who is waiting to be acknowledged? It is said from the eyes are this doorway to the soul. And it is interesting. And when newborn, our eyes take a few weeks to mature and for vision to be clear. As if we aren't quite ready for the veil to be totally lifted once we came and to reveal everything. Stand tall today and see who you really are, a divine soul with lifetimes of experience where you have been tested and gained valuable firsthand knowledge regarding how to respond, react, and be. There's a whole library you can tap into to help you, a fountain of wisdom within. It may be time to undertake some new study from modern day books to ancient texts and philosophical, philosophical concepts. Indeed, the thirst for wisdom should never leave us. The desire to be challenged via debate, differences of opinion, and the sharing of knowledge is important. Look around today at what life really wishes to teach you. There's an opportunity to do so from nature, travel, and meeting new people, as well as going within to listen to our own well of knowledge. Jesus also showed that we need to learn maybe come from unexpected places. For example, the beggar having more to share of worth than the rich man, the child comprehending more than the adult, the enemy more to teach than an ally. We are all at earth school and come to share what we know, which includes how we can learn together as one. So you are protected as you continue to learn and grow and evolve and gain your wisdom, honey. And for some of us, we have to do it through immense pain, immense growth and evolution through difficult. But you you are coming, you are coming out the other side. All right. So thank you for being here today. Hey, 
Hey, Glenda. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Let's see what we got for Miss Glenda. Glenda, these cards are like all over the place. Uh, I feel like Spirit is very much trying to get you the right one. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is perfect. All right, number 34. Humbleness, modesty, and humility. Recognizing what we do not know is also an aspect of humbleness, since there will always be more to learn and new discoveries to be revealed. Keeping any sense of superiority in check is vital, since we are all students of life and the journey eternal. To not be arrogant or proud, but to go about our life quietly and diligently knowing we are loved and noticed for who we are is also an important aspect of humbleness. Today, reappraise neglected areas of your life that you deemed unimportant or had not prioritized. The phone call you would put off, as well as community activities. Uh, examples are the beach park cleanup to volunteer for or charity items to donate. This card can also be an invitation to offer back random acts of kindness with no expectation for acclaim or recognition, a goodwill gesture that will brighten another's day. Appreciate also how caring for those under your care is a privilege, not a chore, but the baby and the elderly parent with needs that can be answered with a humble heart, remembering that you too have once been that baby and you too will be the old man or woman. To give with no pretense or agenda simply from love is one of the highest acts of spiritual service we can give. Kind-hearted acts and helping those who are struggling show our humility and what is best in human being in being human. I don't know, Glenda, this just feels like it's validation, honey, that you are a beautiful light and you are shining that beautiful light and keep, keep on that path. Yeah. I feel like that was just validation for you. Thank you for being here. You're welcome, Kara. Oh, Brittany. I'm glad you were here, honey. Okay. Let's see what we got for Miss Ari Ariona. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Tonight at seven o'clock, I will be in my coaching call. It is pay what you want. There's no minimum. So if you would like to work with me tonight at seven o'clock, go to the event section of my website and grab your ticket. Oh, this is actually um, the card that is the, the back. Um, I didn't realize the back of the card was actually um, one of the cards, but it is. It is number 14. Grace, blessings, and goodwill. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's see what. It's got a nice feel to it. It really does. I like the energy of it. All right, so there it is. Start to see whatever is in front of you, not as a trap, test, or obstacle, but an opportunity to personify grace, goodwill, and your alignment to a higher power. History has been examples of people facing trials, tribulations, and injustices, but their grace carried them through their darkest moments. Since grace is a living energy that sustains and nourishes both moving through you and becoming you. Grace is gifted freely. It does not come with any condition or expectation for something in return. Although the universe always notices and thanks you anyway, thinking about your life, how could you demonstrate grace today? Is there an opportunity to give back to another, to give freely, to be of service by offering your grace and presence. Stepping into grace reminds us we are more than our lower thoughts and actions. We are God's creations that are here to bring beauty and joy to our world. Ask to be touched with God's grace. 
Feel its energy as it touches the crown of your head and helps you to be the highest version of yourself today. Smell the blossom in the air, feel the sun against your cheek, and see the wonder all around. For truly, we are blessed to be here, and by grace, our deeds are known as holders of Christ consciousness. Oh, isn't that beautiful, Ariana? Thank you for being here today. I hope that resonated. Suzanne. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh. Number 49, Suzanne. Peace, calm center, calm mind. It's a very calm card. Jesus said, peace be with you and peace I leave you, demonstrating the importance of both holding and spreading peace wherever we go. He encourages us to leave a legacy and be remembered as a peacemaker, where we helped build bridges, brought different parties together, and created harmony in our families, communities, and a wider world. Ask what you can do today that is going to help bring inner peace. It may be an activity to calm the mind and allow stillness, via mindfulness meditation, quiet music, gardening, baking, being with calm friends, walking, or any activity we love. To chop wood and carry water reminds us that how we navigate our daily routines can also be a tool of harmony via doing one thing mindfully rather than scattering our energy and rushing through our day. Affirming, I am peace, I bring peace, and I wish you peace to others and ourselves serves you today and is found within the heart which carries its energy always oh isn't that beautiful suzanne i hope that i hope that helped I hope that resonated thank you for being here oh thank you glenda all right let's see what we got for miss kimberly Twenty-eight faith, find holiness within. The question needing to be asked is: Can I touch holiness within myself? To do so is a, is to be able to access all that you seek in your ability to find balance and to know that all is well. Illness and challenge can also teach and instruct us and others. The soul's growth through what it experiences on earth. It is why it came. In the highlighted story, the afflicted woman had sought many rem remedies and counsel from others, and yet these years were not without worth, since we often find out how strong we are via surviving adversity, pain, and difficulty. That is not to say it is what God wants for us, but to be human is to have agreed to walk this path, which can have thorns as well as the scent of the rose. Into every life a little rain must fall is a well-known saying, but it is also a true one. Healing can also occur via encouragement and support to keep going. We are often carried even when we do not recognize it, feeling as though our prayers have been ignored, but it is often when God is in fact closest. We all seek the miracle in healing care, pure, and this can be possible if it is what the body, mind, and soul truly desire. But all aspects have to be agreement for this to happen. So often we listen only to what one part of us wants, but if we instead see ourselves as multidimensional beings, we tune into different needs and requirements for soul growth. Today, take a deep breath and think about how you can ac access holiness within. Certainly giving yourself quiet space and room to just be is helpful. Prayer, writing, or any activity that quiets the egoic mind is good. Finding holiness in everyday events encourages us to seek each interaction as an opportunity to touch God because everything is a part of his creation and holds the frequency of love. Love is the greatest healer and we must not lose faith, faith with it or become so blindsided by negativity or displeasure that we fail to see it available in every moment. To turn a grimace, grimace into a smile a clenched fist into an embrace and battle cry into a lullaby. When we can answer life with love, 
we see it returned to us tenfold. The lady reaching for Christ's gown knew he was complete love. It is that vibration and the true trust in it that saved her. Reach for the love within yourself too. Shower yourself with its healing balm and visit the inner sanctuary and library of your heart that knows all the answers you seek. Love and faith move mountains, so move some today. Wow, Kim. That couldn't have been the most appropriate card. <sighs> Sending you lots of love, honey. Thank you for being here. You're welcome, darling. Oh, you're welcome, Susan. Yeah, Kim, I don't know how you do it with those twins. Um, my grandbaby drives, it, it wears me out. I can't imagine two of her, God bless you, and doing it um, in the condition. So God bless you, honey. All right. Now, remember, we do not endorse any of the spammers or solicitors. So um, the only time um, I will talk about working with me will be uh, like this um, in, in driving you to my website. Anything else is not me. Anything else is not me. So uh, please be discerning and safe out there uh, who you work with in person and virtually. Please, please, please. Yes, Kim. Yes. All right, 77 Cruz. Let's see what I've got for you. Non-judgment, reflection, and projection. This was actually one of the very first cards, Cruz, um, so I'm not going to read this one again. Uh, you can watch the replay and listen to um, what this card is about. But yes, it is time to surrender. Surrender to the how and the when things are going to work out. Just know that any projection you're doing of the negative is going to keep you in the negative. And so really it's about where can you get into reflection and look at what you've learned, where you've been, what choices and decisions got you in different places and parts and how you can change that. Right. So this is about you really getting into uh, surrender. And that is what is going to make all the difference when spirit can show up and bring you the blessings and the abundance. And they can't when you're pushing against it because you're you're trying to make something happen or force something to happen. You got to take a deep breath and sit down. Have the faith that everything is working out for your highest and greatest good. All right. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. Number one. Jesus, follow my lead. Number one. Come and I will make you fishers of men, was Jesus' first call to his disciples. He calls again to us, this time knowing we understand more than we originally did 2,000 years ago, and that to be invited to hold his presence and embody his teachings is a lifetime that changes the game for all of us who answer it. Coming to his energy now with fresh perspectives, you are not asked, however, to blindly follow and to not question, debate, or bring your own experiences and learning to the table too, Jesus sees in you, as he saw in the first disciples, Peter and Andrew, all your divine potential and the impact you can make on this world. Not to push your views onto anyone or to use belief as a mask, but rather to take up challenge of what is to walk through life, demonstrating all he taught for your soul's evolution and growth. 
Your light and truth are not to be hidden in dusty old buildings, but out there on the street, in the shop corner, within families and relationships, and to your workplace. To be a living testimony to love, to help heal, illuminate, speak, and express it, because you are it, and in his name you truly remember that. Be confident. You are a beloved child of God, a spark of creation, a unique presence that has world needs to make it whole. He asks that you never deny your greatness, your own divinity, or all you came here to be. Instead, to set the benchmark for others to follow via your inner peace, radiance, stillness, tolerance, non-judgment, and more. Come take his hand and invite his spirit into your heart. Here his energy dwells, seeding your own Christ light, not looking outside oneself to find it, but bringing it home. Wow, Kim, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes, share your light, share your light. Thank you for being here today. Hi, Trishna, welcome. <coughs> Trishna, I'm going to pull you a Christ consciousness. It may or may not answer your question, but take what resonates, honey. Thank you for being here. Thank you for those of you who have hearted on Facebook. That really helps the algorithm. Uh, fair exchange with no uh, monetary value, right? Just good wishes, good energy. And uh, those of you on YouTube, thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing. I totally appreciate all of the fair exchange folks. I really do. Tonight, I'll be back uh, in an event. Uh, a Zoom meeting you're absolutely invited to, members and non-members of my community. Um, there's a fair exchange. There's no limit. You can pay what you want. It's uh, simply a way to work with me one-on-one -on -one or work with me again. Um, so that's what I will be doing tonight at 7 p.m. And Dr. Thomas and I will be together tomorrow for the Consciousness Conversation talking about rebirth. So that will be 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can always watch the replay on the Consciousness Conversation playlist on YouTube. <sighs> okay. Whew. All right, Trishna, let's see what I've got for you, honey. Oh, awesome, Suzanne. Awesome. She said, I'm really loving these cards. A lot of them resonate with what's going on in my life right now. Yeah, seriously, take what resonates, guys. Um, you know, your energy informs the readings. Absolutely. So, um, yes, I'm pulling for you individually, but it doesn't mean that there's somebody else in the community that isn't going to um, feel it. Oh, gosh, all that shuffling. And I got the same one, Trishna. There it is. So take what resonated from that last reading. Yeah, absolutely. Share your light. Share your light. Um, thank you for being here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi, Louise. Hello. Welcome. If you want to join my community, you can go to my website, guidance311.com. Uh, it is a monthly membership, and that is where we uh, support each other. You become a tribe member. Uh, and we have three meetings a month that are included. We have a group that's included. You get content that's included. Um, if you're not ready for a monthly membership, you can always still go to the community tab. There is a free meditation challenge. Absolutely. Uh, I would invite you to start that. Start. Uh, yeah. And grab the app. You can do all this on my app. So you can take your medita meditation challenge with you. Uh, on the app, and you can also take my group with you. Louise, oh, freedom, just be you. I actually pulled this the other day in my uh, daily reading, I think. So, Louise, just be you. You may be in a situation, relationship, or job where you don't feel free, but the lesson is that this is an illusion. You are where you are meant to be for what you are currently learning, but you also have the key to change anything and, like the bird in the cage, can fly out and be free. This flight of freedom occurs when you have moved beyond what no longer serves you and acknowledged its reason for being present and the learning acquired. Freedom is also about discarding what others expect you to be and embracing all you are, including the age and life stage you are at, your needs, and more. You may be living someone else's script of how your life should be via a job, belief system, persona, or anything else. 
Release it now in any guilt, as when you have surrendered, you find ourselves in flow and will be taken to where you need to go. Just as the hot air balloons ride the thermal to navigate the journey, be like the balloon that travels safely with a light load, not weighed down by excess baggage. It has the ability to soar as well as the ability to come in for a soft landing, replete from its, ex from its experience and enjoyable excursions. So there it is, Luis. Be free. Be yourself. Thank you for being here. Hi, Tashi. Welcome. All right. You're welcome. You got number one. Jesus, follow my lead. I actually just read this um, just about mm, one or two minutes ago. So you can actually watch that on the replay. But yes, it is time for you to share your light. Share your light. Go in your own direction. Be the way shower. Thank you for being here. All right. All right. I think I think I got everybody. So awesome. 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 Guys, thank you for being here with me today. Uh, introducing this deck. I truly appreciate that. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to be using these um, more. I uh, continue to use them. And um, yeah, I got a lot going on. So uh, tonight, seven o'clock tomorrow, 1130 with Dr. Thomas for the consciousness conversation. Um, everything is on the website. Everything is on the website in the event section, in the community, um, uh, on my Facebook, uh, posts, um, trying to think, is there anything I'm missing? So, uh, we did copy and cards yesterday morning. If you want to watch that replay, uh, we did tarot Tuesday, uh, last night. If you want to watch that replay, <laughs> I've just been a crazy lady, crazy. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being a part of this journey and being crazy with me. All right. So we're going to take care of this. Yes. Be careful out there. Please do not buy into any of the spammers, solicitors. And, you know, the thing is, guys, to also be discerning, um, very careful about who you work with in the physical, right, in person, whether it's a virtual appointment or whether it's in-person appointment, whether it's someone um you're finding, um, just be discerning. I just, I, I want you all to be very, very careful out there. Um, because there are a lot of AI, there are a lot of um, people just trying to get in your wallet. So if you're not feeling a resonance energetically with who wants to work with you, then I would say kind of go in your own direction or find someone. And the best way to find someone really is a referral, right? So thank you for each and every one of you who've given me a referral. I totally appreciate that. Um, but yeah, Stay safe out there. All right. Whew. All right. So I'm going to be gone pretty much for the rest of the day. I've got to take care of the grandbaby. So I will be uh, outside, uh, maybe getting a little wet where I might have the sprinkler going. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're going to we're going to have some baby time and some fun. And I'll be back tonight for the uh, coaching meeting. If you want more information on that, go to the event section on my website. And I'm sending you all lots of love and lots of blessings and have a beautiful rest of your day. Happy hump day. And uh, we'll talk soon. Namaste. Bye guys.